welcome back. I will be using my Egyptian deck here <clears throat> and also some, um, some cards from the Rider Waite as well just to decipher the messages that are happening for you. Let's look at your relationships first. We spoke about needing to gain clarity. Something's been a long time coming. There's plans. There's a, a major conversation that needs to happen. Let's have a look at what's happening in your relationships or in the, with the people that you're seeing, is there breakthroughs in this sense? Because we did mention breakthroughs as well. Okay, relationships. Okay, we have the Ace of Chalices. Ace of Chalices is really, really beautiful. Ace of Chalices is brand new beginnings that promise emotional fulfillment. And it's interesting that we did see it here with the full card, um, as we mentioned, new beginnings. So it was sort of hinting that we would, that you'd come across them. Okay, Ace of Chalices. So there is breakthroughs in the sense where you proclaim your I love yous and really take that journey together. For some, it's it speaks of a physical journey. This could be the first time you travel together. It's really about going from the eight of swords into into clarity into the queen of swords into the temperance card but it's also speaking about new beginnings so for some i feel like there is a second chance for for someone that's wanting a second chance with you this person is coming back in but i feel for the most part they're being authentic and they're wanting to offer you something emotionally stable they're emotionally available now and they can commit and on some level, you have attracted this. We have the temperance card here. You've attracted this ace of chalices, this new beginning. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or perhaps a Leo, or even a fellow air sign that's coming in and wanting to make you this offer to solidify a relationship. It's almost like rebirth is coming, is coming in for your relationships But it's meaning something much, the meaning of the Ace of Chalices is something much more. The Ace of Chalices is a soul of Osiris. A soul, the, the, Osiris was uh, an, a, an, an, a deity, sorry, that was revered. He was king of the underworld, of creation. And this is his soul. So there's something deeper, a deeper spiritual connection, a shift, a breakthrough in this connection that you share with this person. There's something more spiritual, something you perhaps haven't experienced before with this person beginning to take form. And that's very exciting. Or if it's someone brand new that's coming in there, they're more div uh, dedicated. They're more, they're coming back with a more loving attitude but you could be fearful you know we did have the eight of eight of swords with the full card you could be fearful about letting this person back into your life and um, it could be duality one part of you is saying yes you want this person you want this relationship you want to move things forward the other part of you could be fearful about getting hurt fearful that you won't have that adventure fearful about taking that step but for a lot of you there is surrendering that's happening okay we have the chariot i really feel like there's amazing progress for a lot of you coming in here the chariot absolutely beautiful wonderful progress feeling emotionally bound, feeling like you're actually in the driver's seat of this relationship. There's a lot of emotion here. The chariot represents a cancer. There could, it could be a cancer that you're dealing with here, or they might have their moon sign in, uh, in, a, um, in a water element. Their moon sign could be in gem, uh, sorry, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And look at this wonderful yin and yang energy here. This person is really wanting a wonderfully balanced, harmonious relationship. And for those that are in existing relationships, things are progressing in a beautiful way here. I mean, we see him in this uh, chariot here. So I'm not sure if you're physically moving into something, physically relocating, 
because you're moving in together you're taking a big step here with the chariot card this is major major progress that's coming in and it might have happened a beautiful balance this shows that you will support each other there's support here there's backing there's encouragement allegiance dedication and for those in existing relationships, marriages, you might see that your partner is really stepping up. And I think you'll be very happy because in some way, whether on a conscious or subconscious level, you've actively attracted this. And I think you'll be very, um, very pleased with this person. For others, hard work is paying off. These cards sit under the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is carrying a burden. It's hard work. It's strenuous, but it's been worth it. Don't give up, Gemini. It's your, your, you will create this dream relationship that you want and how you want it to be. You just need to keep working at it. Don't succumb. Don't be a fool if you know this person is no good for you, if this relationship isn't how you want it to be. Don't accept second best. For others, you're, you're traveling. You're traveling. It's a long time coming. You've been waiting to do something. You'll dive head first. Um, and this trip or this journey, whether it's a spiritual journey or a physical journey, and it's, it's really refreshing to see with the chariot card, there's emotional progress. For some, you're falling deeper and deeper for someone, whether it's someone you've been seeing for two weeks, whether it's someone you've been with for two years, for 20 years. Things progress absolutely wonderfully, and you'll be very pleased with how they do um, with the chariot card. Mm, beautiful. Gemini relationships. Queen of Pentacles. You may receive a gift from someone that you're seeing, someone that you're, you've been married to. The Queen of Pentacles does rule the physical realm, the earthly realm, and she is holding up uh, what looks like papyrus, what looks like these wonderfully flowered papyrus shoots up to the sun, up to the pentacles. There's, an, there's a physical, it's either someone might get you a gift, you might receive a gift, or someone will, it's either, it could be a splendid date, Again, I think it's it's either a date that involves a certain conversation that you will have that will lead to this breakthrough, but it's something that's going to really enlighten you and make you feel good, make you feel good about this person. The Queen of Pentacles is rules marriage in this deck, abundance. It's also an asset. There could be talks of marriage. It could be a simple mutual agreement where you say, I don't need the, the bended, on bended knee. I'm happy to go ahead like this. Or it could be that someone is proposing. We talked about breakthroughs. Stranger things have happened. It could very well be that this is, this is the, the movement that we see with the chariot. And for some, you might be fearful about this. It could be a marriage or a proposal or an engagement that feels somewhat rushed because you do have the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords with the Eight of Swords. Is this potentially how you feel that it's holding you back? These thoughts. There could be offers to elope. You have the Fool card with the Queen of Pentacles. What's interesting though, the Queen of Pentacles in conjunction with the Chariot card and the Ace of Chalices is really a spread that involves a lot of changes in the relationship and not in just one aspect, it's in the emotional as well as the physical. So if it's not a gift, it could be that there's an asset that you're talking about moving in together because you do have the Fool, there's possible relocation here um, or taking a trip together. Because you are coming into your power. We can see that here with the Queen of Swords. You are making those changes. You're, physically, this person is appearing in your life. Or if you're already in a relationship, then 
you're moving forward, you're driving it forward with the chariot card, you're going on a journey, maybe an emotional or spiritual journey, or maybe a physical journey that's going to bring you lots of wonderful memories and going to make you more attached to this person, more emotionally dependent on this person and vice versa. I think there's a lot of emotion they have to offer for you, whether it is someone from your past or someone that is brand new. But if it doesn't real if it doesn't feel right, do not rush into this. Because this could cause turbulence, this could cause problems. We saw this with the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of attraction with the Queen of Pentacles as well. Now, for some, she can be a mother-in-law, she can be a sister. Doesn't have to be feminine. Although the card does denote feminine energy, but um, if you're meeting an in-law or you're meeting a sister of someone you're seeing, uh, things will come about very effortlessly. I think you'll be preempting it. I think you'll be scared. You'll be fearful about how you come across. But I think seeing this spread here, it can really speak about that, you know, you'll feel really good once it happens. You'll feel really appreciated. You'll feel really welcome into the family if this is what you're, you're seeking, Gemini. So that's really, really good. There could be, a, things are moving, yes, things are progressing. Just make sure they're not, they're progressing at a pace that you're comfortable with. Let's have a look at your career, creative. I also feel like, I just want to say, if you have any siblings, that could be, if it's a cancer, it's a water sign or an earth sign, um, you'll hear news about them having a new relationship and maybe you might just be a little bit fearful about who they're dating but really you might need to give them a chance just give it a bit of time because i think you'll be surprised by what this per how who this person is and how they feel about your your sibling or someone very close to you um, let's have a look at your career and creative pursuits there could be important conversations and breakthroughs around work. So let's have a look at that. Okay, you have the Eight of Chalices. Now the Eight of Chalices in this deck is all about improbability fantasies, illusions, daydreaming. There's something you're wanting to work towards in your career, Gemini, that you still haven't applied the practical steps for. Yes, there are breakthroughs and beautiful things that are progressing here for you, but my concern would be that there's foolish behavior associated with this dream or this whatever it is that you've been working towards. And it could also serve as a reminder that you need to visualize, you need to affirm, you need to be in a state of daydream to help bring these wishes, dreams, hopes, aspirations, goals about and fulfilled. So maybe this is a message for you that that needs to happen. For some, you're, not, you're lacking clarity about a venture of a job or a business. Either you might want to start a job or a business um, and it's, it's been in your mind and you've visualized but I think there's more that needs to be sorted here. There's still work that needs to be done because the Queen of Swords is reminding you, although you have, have, have had this marvelous idea or inspiration or job opportunity, it's either more research or more experience is needed. So for some, there could be, there could be the prospect of you, say for example, if you're looking for a new job or a new opportunity, it could come up, but I don't feel strongly that you'll get it because you're either inexperienced or your lack of confidence will hold you back or it's not meant to be now. The temperance card is all about divine timing and alchemy. So it's something you're wanting to attract and I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't come to be. We do have new beginnings here. But I think it'll come with more experience. So don't get deflated if it doesn't happen in this month. It can be in your future with the Eight of Chalices. Something that's unlikely to happen in your career. There is breakthroughs, 
but I think it might be more to do with relationships actually in the um, in the six card spread underneath in the general one. Okay, the two of wands. Two of wands in this deck uh, symbolizes friendship, protection, collaboration, um, association. Could be a fire sign coming in here. There's an important conversation or a partnership that's happening because we did see the two of cups in the temperance card. There is potentially a collaboration or a new friend, a new associate that's coming on board here. There's a need for um, protection though. So for some of you that have ideas about a business or a work, creative idea, I would keep it to yourself just for now. There could be someone coming in that potentially wants to take this idea from you. Or they could be in competition with you. So I feel try to protect yourself right now because it is about the two of ones is about protection. Needing to protect yourself. Because the eight of chalices and the two of ones. Protecting yourself against improbable and unneeded fantasies in career, in business. It's also choice and options. It's assistance, it's protection with the eye of Horus. It's someone has their eye on you um, at work. I think a superior or a colleague is noticing that you're A, perhaps daydreaming too much at work, or B, that you haven't thoroughly planned or provided concrete or solid work just yet so this can change Gemini but as I said it's about doing the research doing what needs to be done here with the two of ones could be a fire sign that's coming in that is quite benevolent for you could be a romance but I feel like you're lacking in something it's either you can't present a project because there's lack Let's see what else is coming up. Could be some something or someone that you're fantasizing is coming to be with the ones. The ones do rule action and movement, so commuting, travel for work can be um, on the horizon for you. Okay, the six of chalices. The Six of Chalices is pleasant memories, it's purity, it's innocence, it's nostalgia. This will be an important month for you at work because you have the Six of Chalices. Six of Chalices is innocence, yet it's creation. So innocence and protection at work. There could be a work situation coming up. Someone might purposely accuse you um, or may leave you to do a lot of hard work here with the Ten of Wands on your own without support. And then a fire sign might come along and assist you, but it's about the Six of Chalices is... There's something quite memorable that's going to happen. Now, I'm not sure if it's this breakthrough. There's a lesson you will learn in this in your career or creative pursuits. But you'll also give birth to something new. But it really speaks about creating something that's worth remembering. Could be something to do with memory as well. Um, there could be a behavioral or memory test that might come up at work with the Six of Chalices. The Six of Chalices in the Rider Waite deck, we see these children and the blossoming of something new. So I think 
again with the temperance card and the six of chalices this is all about creating something new create the blossoming of a new friendship or a partnership now this could be with a client with an associate with a wholesaler but it's 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 telling you to come back down to earth a little bit because you be because you may be having these sort of fantasies about creating something at work it could also be working with children though children flowers or learning there's potentially learning coming in Mm, so that's interesting. Let's lay out two more cards um, as a general. Queen of Chalices. Emotionally, I think this will be a, quite a happy month for you. Quite a happy, high, celebratory month with the Queen of Chalices here. This is wise. This is foresight. There's a lot of intuition about you, whether this is for love or whether this is for career you'll be guided by your emotions a lot of breakthroughs will be happening that will fuel your emotions you'll be feeling happy optimistic high celebratory there's offers coming in she she holds the um the chalice here but this is also wisdom so again you need that thorough research you need that thorough planning and you need to gain more incentive because it's either a you're lacking this and this is why you won't progress to anything higher or further up in your career or get that new job or b you are getting more wiser and really coming into your power. And I love the fact that she sits above the Queen of Swords and the Fool card. So it's wising up to your situations as well, whether it's through your own experience or through someone else's, as I said. Okay, the Five of Chalices. The Five of Chalices is the Eye of Horus. This is about natural order, guardianship. There's a support network. Um, I think there's people that are going to be vouching for you or on your side, whether you're on social media, um, whether it's support in a decision you're making, whether it's your family. I think you'll be surprised by the support you'll receive. So again, it goes back to your general reading where we had this sort of presumption that people won't accept, people won't approve but really we will be surprised by this because there is a support network behind you so there's resources that people that agree with you whether it's your choices in love um, you'll find that you have the support that you were anxious if about whether you or not you'd receive it so it's yeah something to think about with the five of chalices um, but it's natural order it's things that are aligning it's harmony so if there has been you know rocky or unfortunate or burdensome energy i think things will even out. breakthroughs with natural order as well so i hope this has been insightful for you gemini